Hello everyone, welcome to Art of Homemaking. Today's video, I am going to show you how I organized my refrigerator and do's and don'ts of it. I am cleaning with my frizz, uh, with basic baking soda. And always use uh, liners to protect your frizz from unnecessary spills and it saves energy. You don't have to keep the door open for the long time to clean the frizz. Simply take the, take the liners out, wash them and put them back. I see many people storing their milk in the refrigerator doors but it is not correct because doors are the warmest part of the frizz. So if you, your milk may spoil or lose its flavor if you keep your milk in the doors. An ideal setting for frizz uh, temperature is 32 to that 38 degrees. If it is more than that, your food may spoil. So before starting the tour, I request you all to please subscribe to my channel. It's my homemade strawberry jam. I didn't add any preservatives to it. So I'm storing that back of the frizz because it, that is one of the coldest parts of the frizz. So I am storing my cheese and paneer in a separate box. Best way to store eggs is to leave in the original carton after purchase in the refrigerator. So these are hard boiled eggs. So it's fresh in the refrigerator for 3 to 4 days with shells on. And I use lemons every day so that's why to keep it handy I kept in separate box. So and here is my milk. I have this produce bin. This is from Home Goods. It has some separate compartments to divide your food and it is easily accessible. So I am saying it again guys, please don't store your milk in refrigerator doors because those are the warmest part of the freeze. So I have these uh, snack packs uh, and try keeping your nuts in freeze, they are crispy and crunchy and I have that extra milk in the back side of the freeze. This is my toddler's food, I kept in separate uh, tray for easy access. And this is my go-to tray. I use ingredients in this tray in almost all my curries. So I kept it this way for easy access. I have my ginger, green chilies. So please check my other video on how I store, how to store vegetables and fruits to stay fresh longer in freeze. Let me first on leftover tray. I stopped using all plastic containers from past one year so I am storing food leftover food in steel or glass containers so sometimes I find it very difficult to know what inside in those small containers and I also uh, drop not so fresh fruits in this container so that I can consume it uh, first. So these are my leftover curries and everybody in my family knows so those are the leftovers and they can pick from there stays fresh longer if you add some cut onions to the avocado container so please check my detailed video for all the vegetables like how to store and how to wash them my frizz has fruits and vegetables settings so I, left side i set it to fruit setting so left side is my fruit tray so all these fruits are completely washed dried and i kept it in this shelf so I used uh, tissue paper to store strawberries so that all the moisture absorbs and this side I have all my vegetables. So it's always better to leave your mushrooms in the original carton from the store and I completely washed and dried and, uh, kept it and wrapped it in tissue paper. And broccoli stays uh, fresh and crisp if you store in aluminum foil. Always wrap your avocados in cling wrap or plastic paper. So because avocado releases gas and it spoils other vegetables very quickly. You can store your vegetables in wool pillowcase or any cotton breathable cloth because it absorbs moisture and and your vegetables will be fresh for almost 15 to 20 days alternatively you can use this produce balls it keeps your vegetables stay fresh for long and also it absorbs bad orders in the refrigerator so here is my idli dosa batter and homemade curd and here is my condiments tray you can throw them in the refrigerator door because it has lot of well, sodium preservatives and vinegar in all the sauces 
do you observe in restaurants they keep all these ketchup and sauces on the table and not in the refrigerator and here are all my jam jellies chocolate syrup maple syrup syrup and uh, vanilla essence to the side of my refrigerator i have this small magnetic dry erase board and sticky notes personally i like pledge multi surface cleaner to clean outside of my refrigerator because it gives extra shine to my stainless steel refrigerator so that's it guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i need all your support so this is an upcoming channel so please please subscribe tap on notification bell to receive new videos every week thanks for watching bye bye